It was a case that went cold four decades ago, cold and cruel. The killings of three young civil rights workers in Mississippi. On Monday, a man will finally stand trial for those killings. Cynthia Bowers reports on a long search for truth and justice carried out by a new generation of high school students who grew up hundreds of miles away. This trio from an affluent suburban Chicago high school played a role most students don't get. They helped change history. I don't think it hit us that this was actually happening until um, we got the call that Killen had been arrested. Killen is Edgar Ray Killen. The former Klan leader was arrested in January for the 1964 murders of three young civil rights workers, Andrew Goodman, James Cheney, and Michael Schwerner. And some of the credit goes to the students and their school project, a documentary investigating the murders. I think we helped draw attention to the murders and really just kind of spark it. The students' documentary wasn't the first to look into the murders. Hollywood's version, Mississippi Burning, came out 17 years ago. But without a blockbuster budget, Sarah Siegel, Brittany Sautille, and Allison Nichols looked into questions the film left hanging, spending hundreds of hours poring over documents, watching old news footage, talking to investigators, and even having a phone conversation with Killen himself. They were trying to undercover recruit the young blacks for the communist movement. After talking to family members of the boys who were murdered, the project was no longer something that we did for school. So the sophomores pushed on. Despite receiving threatening emails to quit digging, the students urged the governor of Mississippi and members of Congress to take another look at the murders. Congressman John Lewis knew the three slain civil rights workers, and after meeting with the students, helped to draft the congressional resolution to reopen the case. These three young women, they got in the way. And sometimes you have to be creative to get in the way. The students never got a grade or school credit for the project, but say they did learn a valuable lesson about sacrifice. If you care about something and if you're affected by something, it's not enough to just sit there and talk about it. You have to take action and you have to see what you can do to help. The teenagers will be watching Killen's trial closely, hoping their history project will finally end in justice. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Chicago. Coming